Welcome to Electron Online. This next problem is a little bit easier than the last one and we can probably do this in three minutes or less. So let's take a look. It deals with Coulomb's force or electrostatic force. We have two identical conducting spheres with negligible volume having 2.1 nanocoulombs and minus 0.1 nanocoulombs of charge respectively. They are both brought into contact and then separated. I guess I need an end there then separated by a distance of 0.5 meters. The electrostatic force acting between the spheres is, and it's in terms of something times 10 to the minus 9 newtons, given that 1 over 4 pi epsilon sub naught, which is the K constant, is 9 times 10 to the 9 SI units. All right, so let's first make a little drawing to see what this looks like. So we have two spheres, each with a certain amount of charge. They're then brought into contact and then they're separated. So at this point we have one that has some positive charge on it. So we have 2.1 nanocoulombs on the one and then the other one has a little bit of negative charge on it, a minus 0.1 nanocoulombs. So they're now placed together. The charges will then redistribute themselves so that the total charge, if you add the two together, we get 2.1 minus 0.1, so charge total, Q total, is equal to 2 nanocoulombs. And then when you separate the two, charge, the two spheres, you then end up with half on each of the spheres. So that means that in this case, you end up with 1 nanocoulomb of charge on each sphere. So we have one nanocoulomb here and one nanocoulomb there. And they're separated to a distance of 0 0.5 meters. All right. And now we need to determine the force between the two. So this is a fairly straightforward thing. I think everybody can pretty well figure that out. You bring them in contact, the charges redistribute themselves, the total charge will be the two added together. When you separate them, each will have half the charge on them. So now we know that the Coulomb force is equal to K times Q1, Q2, divided by the distance squared. Now K is 1 over 4 pi epsilon sub naught, so it's equal to 9 times 10 to the 9th. And we multiply the times Q squared, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 9 squared, divided by the distance squared, which is 0 0.5 squared. All right, so this is equal to uh, 9 times 10 to the, that's minus 18, plus 9, that's 10 to the minus 9, that would be minus 9, divided by 0.5 squared, which is 0 0.25, and 9 divided by 0 0.25, well, that's essentially 36, so this is 36 times 10 to the minus 9, and that would, of course, be in Newtons. And notice that the exact format that I'm looking for, what I need up here is the 36. So in this case, 36 is what goes in the unknown box. So it's fairly straightforward. All you need to know is Coulomb's law, the equation. You need to understand how the, how the charges are separated. And then it's simply a little bit of arithmetic. And that can be done in less than three minutes. So you have some time for the next problem, which may be a lot harder. And that is how it's done. How are we doing here?